In today's lesson, we're going to be looking at something that's called ratios. And ratios are actually pretty easy to do because it's going to basically be a review of fractions that we learned before. So when we're given ratios or we're asked to find ratios, we're always going to have some type of data information. The information we are going to look at today is a win-loss record of a team. So the data that's given to us is the Buffalo Bills have a record of five wins to two losses. Now there are three different ways that I can display this information as a ratio. And it's really easy to do. First thing I'm going to do is put the wins on one side, the two, word two, T-O in the middle, and then the losses on the other side. Five wins to two losses. That's one way of writing this as a ratio. Another way of doing this, and I'm going to separate it with a semicolon, is to use what is really called a ratio with numbers, and it's going to be the same two things again, my five wins. And I use a regular colon in between the two, and then I put down my losses. This is another form of writing the wins and losses as a ratio. Five, the colon basically means the same thing as two, two losses. And there's one way to do this, and I mentioned before about fractions, I can also write the ratio as a fraction. Where my wins will go on top, my losses will go on the bottom. Just remember to separate these two. Five wins to two losses. So now we see we have three different ratios for the same information of the Bills record, five wins to two losses. Next, we want to look at writing a ratio with a word problem. So in our word problem, we're given some information. We're told that we wait 90 minutes to ride a roller coaster. So we're in line for 90 minutes, and that's typical. That's usually what happens. The ride only lasts two minutes, though, and that sounds about true. So you're waiting 90 minutes just to get on the ride. When you get on, the ride only lasts two minutes. So what is the ratio of the time spent in line versus the time actually spent on the roller coaster? Now, if we think back to what we just learned with the football record, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to write three different ratios using the amount of time spent in line and the amount of time that the ride actually lasts. So the first thing we want to do is we'll take our time. 90 minutes in line to two minutes spent actually on the roller coaster. Do our next one. 90 minutes on the line to two minutes spent on the coaster. And then finally, we know we can also write this as a fraction. 90 minutes in line versus the two minutes actually spent on the roller coaster. And for those of you that have been to Disneyland and Magic Mountain, you know that this is probably true. The next procedure we're going to learn how to do is compare ratios. So we know we have this little line in between these two ratios. I'm going to put the greater than, less than, or equal sign between the two ratios. But in order to compare them first, I need to turn them into fractions, and that's really simple to do. So let's do it one side at a time. We'll turn them into fractions, and then we'll compare our fractions. So we have 9 fifteenths over here, and 8 twentieths here. So I get a 9 over 15. Really easy to do. Let's come over here and turn this guy into a fraction. 8 over 20. And now if we think back to previous lessons, we can always cross multiply to compare fractions. And it makes things a lot easier. It's going to make it a heck of a lot easier than multiplying things out or trying to find common denominators. So first of all, let's take our 15, multiply it by 8. And we get an answer of 120. Remember how we do that. We take this denominator, multiply by this numerator, and then I put the answer up on top because this will represent this fraction. We'll see which number is bigger. So next we want to do 20, and we're going to cross multiply it by this numerator. So I get 20 times 9 is 180. And now I can just look at these two answers that I came up with. Whichever one is bigger, that shows me that this ratio is also bigger. So I have 180 over here, 120 over here. Everybody knows 180 is larger than 120, which means 
9 fifteenths is larger than 8 twentieths, or 9 to 15 is larger than 8 to 20, since they are ratios. Really easy to do. Remember, take the ratio, turn it into a fraction, cross multiply, and then we'll be able to find out very, very easily which one is larger. And for our final step today, we're going to be looking at how to take a ratio, turn it into a fraction, and then write it in simplest form. So really, it's just more review for us. So 8 to 14, pretty simple for us, turned it into a fraction. I'm just going to draw my arrow so I know that this is the next step. And I get 8 over 14. Can I simplify it? Yeah, I think I can. I think 2 is going to go into both of them. So finally, 2 will go into 8. We know 4 times. 2 will go into 14. 7 times. That can't be simplified. So that is our final answer. 8 to 14 simplifies to 4 over 7. Now over here, our next ratio, 9 to 5. Just draw out my arrow. It becomes 9 over 5. Let's think about this one. Can I simplify 9 over 5? We can turn it into a mixed number, but I don't want to. I can't simplify the fraction. So 9 to 5, that's as far as I can go. That would be my answer, 9 over 5.